Welcome to part two. We made our four squares. Now we put our poncho together. Let's make the first seam. We need three squares, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, and then the piece you pick for the front part. Face all three squares wrong side up. We will start in the right corner, work along the right seam, then along the left seam, and finish in the left corner and crochet those two together. Make sure all your pieces face wrong side up. Let's start in the right corner. Here's my shoulder square wrong side up and my front square wrong side up. Face them together so the right side is inside on both pieces. Put the right sides together. Then start in the second chain of the first piece into the front loop. Then go into the second chain of the second piece into the back loop and make a slip stitch. Go into the next chain of the first piece front loop and into the back loop of the chain in the second piece and make a slip stitch and repeat that on the doubles. Front loop, back loop, slip stitch, front loop, back loop, slip stitch. Here's the wrong side and here's how it looks on the right side. You have two lines. When you get to the chain spaces, also slip stitch the front loop of the chain together of the first piece with the back loop of the second piece. So when you turn it over, you can still get that separation and you have the two lines. I reached the middle, here will be the neckline. Here's the first square and here's my right shoulder and here's my left shoulder, the new square that we will attach now. I slip stitched the double crochet together on both pieces and I slip stitched the first chain together. Then I go into the front loop of the second chain of the first piece or the piece in the middle and I grab my third piece and I have it also wrong side up but I turn it so I look at it right side up and I go into the back loop again of the second chain. So we are connecting all the second chains of all the pieces and then I go into the second chain front loop, back loop, into the back loop. So this is also here, right side. Into the back loop and then slip stitch through all of these stitches. Those are all the second chains and make a slip stitch. And now we can put this piece aside, the shoulder piece and turn it. And then we just go along and make the same slip, slip stitches as we did before. Front loop, into the last chain, back loop into the last chain and then we go and start on the double crochet, front loop, back loop, the same way we did on the other side. Here's the wrong side and when you turn it over you still have those two lines that are separated. I finished the seam on the left side and I slip stitched the first and the second chain together of each of the pieces. This is how it looks from the wrong side. And when you turn it over, this is how the right side looks. Place your poncho right side up. Let's make the second seam. It's the same as the first one. Fold your left shoulder piece over to the middle. Fold your right shoulder piece over to the middle. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. Now place your fourth square also wrong side up into the middle and now you can repeat exactly the same way we did on the other side. Slip stitch the two chains together, make the seam to the middle, then don't forget to slip stitch all of the second chains together in the middle, make the seam to the left side and then finish by slip stitching also the two chains in the corner together. We stitch the front and the back together. Now let's make a trim. You can start in any of the corners on the bottom. I will start in the back corner. Turn your work right side up and start in the corner. My punch is facing right side up and I turned it around so I can start the trim in the corner with round one. Make two double crochet into the corner space. One and two chain three, one, two, three, and make two more double crochet into the corner space, one and two, chain one, 
and make six double crochet into the previous six double crochet and that's how we make our round this time we make six doubles into the previous six doubles with chain one in between make the six doubles five and six chain one and skip over the chain to the first double crochet again and repeat make six double crochet into the previous six double crochet with chain one in between and repeat that until you get to the first seam when you get to the first seam finish your six doubles into the previous six doubles then chain one make three double crochet into the right chain space one two three then move to the chain space on the left and make three doubles into that so we have our six doubles again then chain one and continue the pattern make six doubles in all of the previous six doubles with chain ones in between when you get to the second seam finish your six double crochet make a chain make three doubles in the first chain space make three doubles in the second chain space chain one and continue the pattern six double crochet in the previous six double crochet the chain ones in between when you get to the corner there will also be the six doubles where you make the six doubles chain one and then in the corner two doubles three chains two doubles and then continue the same way on the other side make a chain then make six doubles and a chain six doubles in the chain and the two seams are the same way six doubles one chain three doubles in the first chain space three doubles in the second chain space and a chain and then continue the pattern until you get to the end of the round finish round one with six double crochet and one chain make an invisible join and start round two with a new color in the corner start the round the same way make the corner with two doubles one two three chains and two doubles into the same space and now we will work on our groups of six again we have two doubles in the previous round make two doubles into those two doubles so now when you look we have four double crochet in the next round we will have six double crochet now let's make the long double crochet for the lark's foot pattern go to the left of the previous two double crochet into the second chain space here's the first space go down below to the second chain space to the left of the two doubles pull a long loop and you want the loop to be as long as the round that you're working on right now the as long as the double crochet so pull it up to where your current doubles are and then finish your double pull through two and pull through two and now make six double crochet into the previous six doubles one two three four five and six make another long double crochet into the second chain space here's the first space go into the second space pull a long loop and finish your double crochet pull through two loops and through two and make six double crochet into the previous six double crochet repeat the long double into the second chain below the first chain space of one make the long double crochet then repeat six double crochet into the previous six doubles with the lark's foot in the second chain at our seam we have the chain space go below the chain space into the corner space where we made the three doubles to the right of the three doubles make the long double pull the long loop and make the double crochet then make the three doubles into the three previous doubles one two three and then three more doubles into the next three doubles so we have our six doubles again four five and six then look below 
next to the three doubles to the left of the three doubles into the corner space below the chain space of one make the elongated double crochet and then continue the pattern make six doubles in all of the six doubles and then below the chain space of one make the lark's foot when you get to the second seam make your six doubles then go below where the three doubles are we made into the corner space to the right of it here's our first chain go below that make your long double make six doubles one two three four five six into the previous six doubles and make the second long double to the left of the three doubles we made into the corner so here goes my chain go below that to the left of the three doubles make the long double and continue the pattern Th six double crochet in the previous six doubles with the lark's foot into the second chain at the corner we have our chain space of one below that go into the corner space to the right of the two double crochet into the chain space of three and make the long double crochet then make the two doubles into the previous doubles and we have to make four doubles again so we make the two doubles and then our corner two doubles so now we have our four doubles then chain three and into the same chain space two doubles and now we make the four doubles on this side as well two doubles then two more into the previous two doubles so now we have the four doubles to the right and to the left then make the long double crochet again go down into the chain space below the chain space of one to the left of the two doubles make the long double crochet and then continue the pattern six doubles and a long double six doubles and a long double finish round two with two double crochet in the previous two double crochet then make three slip stitches into the first double into the second double and into the corner space and start round three make two double crochet three chains and two double crochet into the corner we made two doubles then four now a six make four double crochet into the previous four double crochet now we have our six doubles chain one skip over the long double crochet and make six double crochet into the previous six double crochet chain one skip over the long double make six doubles chain one skip over the long double crochet make six doubles and you can do that until you get to the corner repeat the pattern along the side when you get to the corner make four double crochet into the previous four doubles and then two doubles three chains and two doubles into the corner make four double crochet into the previous four doubles chain one skip over the long double crochet and make six double crochet into the previous six double crochet finish round three with four doubles into the previous four doubles and i made an invisible join and cut my yarn to start a new color now we can repeat the three rounds over and over so i start my counter at one again where we make two doubles three chains and two doubles into the corner space then chain one make six doubles chain one six doubles into the previous doubles chain one and so on until you get to the corner make the six doubles chain one then make your corner two doubles three chains two doubles then chain one and continue with the groups of six doubles chain one six doubles chain one finish round one with six double crochet and one chain make an invisible join and for round two i will change my color make two double crochet three chains and two doubles into the corner space and make two more doubles into the previous two doubles so we have four doubles in this round then make the long double next to the two doubles in the previous round into that corner space to the left of the two doubles make the long double and then continue with the pattern six doubles into the previous doubles and when you get to the chain space make the long double crochet into the second chain space
then continue the pattern, make 6 double crochet in the previous 6 doubles and make the long double crochet into the second chain spaces. When you get to the corner, make your 6 doubles, then to the right of the 2 doubles we made into the corner in the previous round, make the long double and then we make 4 doubles again, 2 into the previous 2 doubles and 2 doubles into the corner, chain 3, make 2 doubles into the corner and 2 doubles into the previous 2 doubles, so we have 4 doubles to the right, 4 doubles to the left, then to the left of the 2 doubles of the previous round, make the second long double crochet and continue the pattern, 6 double crochet and into the second chain, make the long double crochet. Finish round 2 with 6 double crochet, make the long double next to the 2 doubles we made into the corner space, make 2 doubles into the previous 2 doubles, and make an invisible join and start round 3. And that's our last round of the pattern repeat. Make 2 double crochet, 3 chains and 2 double crochet into the corner, make 4 doubles into the previous 4 doubles, chain 1, skip over the long double, make 6 double crochet into the previous 6 doubles, chain 1, skip over the long double, make 6 doubles into the previous doubles until you get to the corner. When you get to the second corner, make 4 doubles into the previous 4 doubles to the left and to the right of the corner and 2 doubles, 3 chains and 2 doubles into the corner and repeat your regular pattern, chain 1, skip over the long double and make 6 doubles into the previous 6 doubles. Make 4 doubles into the previous 4 doubles and finish with an invisible join. For me the punch is long enough but you can add more rounds to make the punch longer. You can repeat round 1, 2 and 3 as many times as you like. I make my punch long enough so I will start on my tassels. I cut my strands about 8 inches long and I use 7 strands for each tassel. My poncho is right side up, put your hook from the bottom up, pull all the strands through and then pull the strands through the loop. And repeat the same on the corner, put your hook into the corner space from the bottom up, pull all the strands through, then pull the strands through the loop and you can repeat that on all the chain spaces. Now we can make a border around our neckline. Here's my neckline. Make a single crochet into the fifth double crochet and you can start in any of the groups of six. I make a standalone single crochet into the fifth double crochet. Wrap around, go into the back loop only of the fifth double crochet and make a single crochet. Go into the sixth double crochet into the back loop only and make a single crochet. Let's make a three chain pico. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, make a slip stitch, grab the two pieces of yarn of the single crochet, they look like an arrow up, then pull through all three loops for a slip stitch and that's our 3 chain pico. Then make single crochet into all of the back loops of the 6 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and repeat the 3 chain pico, chain 3, make a slip stitch into the 2 pieces of yarn and make single crochet into the back loops of the 6 double crochet. Make the 3 chain pico, 1, 2, 3, slip stitch into the 2 pieces of yarn and repeat Make 6 single crochet into the 6 back loops of the double crochet with chain 3 pico. I made my 6 single crochets into the back loop. Now I'm at my seam. Go into the first chain space of the seam and make a single crochet. Then make a 5 yarn over puff stitch into the middle space right around the entire stitch. Yarn over once, pull a loop but not too long. Yarn over twice, pull a loop. Yarn over 3 times, pull a loop, 4 times, pull a loop, 5 times, pull the loop through. Then pull through all of the loops except the last 2. Then pull through 2 loops. Go to the 3rd chain space, to the left, make a single crochet, then continue your pattern. Make 6 single crochet to the back loops of the 6 double crochet. 
the three chain pico and then the six singles into the back loop of the six doubles. At the second seam, make the six singles into the back loop of the six doubles. Make a single crochet into the first chain space. Make a five yarn over puff stitch into the middle space. One, two, and I want to make it tighter, smaller loops. One, two, three, four, five. I think a smaller puff stitch looks prettier here. Leave two loops on the hook, pull through two, then go to the last chain space, make a single crochet and then continue six singles in the back loops with the picots above the chain space. I've made my fourth single crochet and I pulled my yarn out of the fourth single crochet and cut it. Skip over the first single crochet we made into the fifth double and go into the next single crochet we made into the sixth double but only into the back loop so we keep our pattern go into the back loop and then skip over the first single crochet again and go into the single crochet we made last so the fourth single crochet top down through both loops and now you can sew your loose in in the back and our puncher is completed Hope you had fun making the poncho and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.